I think the toughest thing is mentally, you know, a mental battle. Always had basketball in my life as, as a crutch to lean on. You know, now you eliminate that and not being able to go through your daily routine, you really have to find something to um, substitute for that. Different color riches in the pitch power ranges. Come to fuck in this cat and we ain't changes. Running on the dash and do the hood like I ain't famous. You mind if, if I put some music on? You sure you? Oh, okay. I'm just sitting here reading. That, but you, will you be able to read even? Like you, like you're reading this oh, yeah, yeah. See, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> 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 Read it for me to sleep. I told her to fly and she scared of the virus. I sent her a private to get here. I made four hundred dollars off each of these pounds. I ain't tripping, it's gonna be a good year. Solomon driving while I got my hands on the chopper. I'm keeping my eyes in the review. I'm from Atlanta where they pay the triple cost to dap you up in their queue. Deep faking, I'm real, I don't feel them. My takers ain't worried about them stealing. I run with eight and some baby gorillas. I know a few, I can buy me a. Said I wouldn't change, but my chains a little bigger. Four carry rain, leave a scar if I hit you. Look like a space. It's been three months since I actually even picked up a ball, since I picked up a basketball. You know, I, I started to started to help out a little bit here and start coaching, help out the guys. Even on the fast break, advance it, get it back, and then you get the defense shift, and then you go. Just to get back into basketball, get back into um, be around it. You stand in like this, I'm not throwing it to you. You gotta take up space, you got a big body. Teach the guys, show the kids some, some stuff that I learned later on in my career, but you know, after the injury, I, I had to remove myself from it because it was um, tough mentally being around it and you know, having limitations. I, well, I, I was coming down off a fast break. And I planted and crazy thing, I didn't think that I actually tore it. Like I felt it, but it didn't, it didn't feel like I tore it. I remember when it first happened, it was kind of like so surreal because, you know, you you hear and, you know, you see people um, tear their ACL and, you know, hear about all the stories, how how painful it was, how how much pain they were in. And, you know, I, I came down wrong. And it was a little pain, but it more felt like um, I hyperextended my knee. So at the time, I was trying to like catch my breath and, you know, I was going to stay in the game because they called a foul and I was going to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. And um, I go to the free throw line to shoot the free throws. My coach takes me out. The trainer starts to look at me and he's moving my, you know, feeling on my knees. Like, does it hurt here? It's hurt here. And I told him exactly where it hurt. And he said ACL. And, you know, in, in that moment, you're like, okay. ACL sprain, ACL, you know, everything but a tear. Because you, you know, I didn't think that it, it could happen to me. Anyway, sat in until I was in the car, you know, and I called my agent. And, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, they told me that I tore my ACL. And, you know, I think his shock of it, because, you know, we have been grinding this thing out for a couple years, you know, as far as like, kind of increasing the level of play, you know, um, going step by step as far as like playing well at this level, playing well at this level, playing well at this level, getting these offers, so on and so forth. You know, we were at a good spot where we had a lot of interest in, you know, we felt like we were getting to where we wanted to be and we were right there, we were right on the cusp. Everybody sees ACL and, you know, says it's a death, death sentence on your career. And for me, I, I once I really um, kind of took it all in and, you know, had a clear mind, you know, I started to look at it differently. It was like, all right, this is, a, this is an opportunity to recreate myself, you know, really show the kids that this is, this is something that, you know, you can build from. It's not, you know, something that ends you. It's something that, you know, it's a, it's a new beginning. And from there, you know, now it's really just building my body back up from scratch. You know, I've had this time, I'm using this time to, like I said, spend time with family, spend time with my daughter, spend time with my wife, and, you know, help the kids out, be around basketball, kind of um, dig into this new venture of coaching. 
and having the time to um, rest my body. You know, all the little aches of, you know, ankle sprains and, you know, different things that might have happened over the years. You know, I have a full year of off um, where, you know, I'm able to really come back 100% and, and, you know, come back even stronger. And I'm looking forward to it more than ever.